The term rhinoceros refers to a group of large herbivorous mammals belonging to the family rhinoceri. These fascinating creatures are characterized by their thick skin, distinctive horns, and relatively short legs. There are five extant species of rhinoceros, the white rhinoceros, Ceratotherium simum, the black rhinoceros, Deciros bicornis, the Indian rhinoceros, Rhinoceros unicornis, the Javan rhinoceros, Rhinoceros sundaicus, and the Sumatran rhinoceros, Dicerorhinus sumatrensis. Rhinos have been an integral part of Earth's ecosystems for millions of years, playing a vital role in maintaining the balance of various habitats. They are primarily found in Africa and Asia, inhabiting a range of environments, from savannas and grasslands to tropical forests and swamps. Rhinoceroses are characterized by their massive size, with some species weighing several tons. Their skin is tough and armor-like, offering protection against predators and environmental elements. The skin is often grayish-brown, but it can vary among species. One of the most distinctive features of rhinos is their horns, which are made of keratin, the same protein found in human hair and nails. Despite popular belief, the horn is not bone. Rhinos use their horns for various purposes, including defense, establishing dominance, and digging for water and food. The white rhino is the largest rhino species and is characterized by its wide mouth, adapted for grazing on grasses. Despite its name, it can appear gray or yellowish-brown. There are two subspecies, the southern white rhino and the critically endangered northern white rhino. The black rhino is smaller than the white rhino and has a pointed upper lip adapted for browsing on shrubs and trees. Sadly, this species has faced severe population declines due to poaching for its horn, making it critically endangered. Found in parts of India and Nepal, this species has a single horn and a thick fold of skin that gives it the appearance of wearing armor. Conservation efforts have helped stabilize their populations in some areas. This species is one of the rarest large mammals on Earth, with a population restricted to Java, Indonesia. They have a single horn, and conservation efforts are crucial for their survival. The smallest rhino species, the Sumatran rhino, is found in Sumatra and Borneo. It has two horns and is covered in coarse, reddish-brown hair. This species is critically endangered. Rhinoceroses are generally solitary animals, with the exception of mothers and their calves. They have relatively poor eyesight but compensate with a keen sense of smell and excellent hearing. Rhinos are known for their unpredictable behavior and can be aggressive when they feel threatened. They are herbivores with diets varying depending on the species including grasses, foliage, and even aquatic vegetation. Their habitat preferences differ among species. For instance, white rhinos prefer grasslands, while black rhinos may inhabit a range of environments from savannas to dense forests. Indian rhinos are often found in swampy areas near rivers, while the Javan and Sumatran rhinos inhabit dense tropical forests. Rhinos face numerous threats, primarily from human activities. The illegal trade in rhino horns, driven by the mistaken belief in their medicinal properties, has led to widespread poaching. Conservation efforts are underway globally to protect and preserve rhino populations. These initiatives include anti-poaching measures, habitat restoration, and community-based conservation programs. Additionally, there are breeding programs in place to ensure the survival of endangered species like the northern white rhino. Rhinoceroses are awe-inspiring creatures that have roamed the earth for millions of years. Their unique adaptations, behaviors, and ecological roles make them a crucial component of various ecosystems. Despite the challenges they face, concerted conservation efforts provide hope for the survival and well-being of these remarkable animals. Preserving rhinoceros populations not only safeguards a species, but also contributes to the overall health and diversity of our planet's ecosystems. As we continue to learn more about these majestic beings, our responsibility to protect and coexist with them becomes increasingly apparent.